Hey, Don Copeland here, and today we're gonna to show you something a little different. Um, we've probably done this with a lot of other things, but I don't think we've ever done it with photographs. And we have uh, one of the girls here in the office has two, two dogs. She had some beautiful professional photo, photographs taken of. You see them here on the, the screen. And she got us some really nice art canvases. These are actually for painting. Uh, so I've got to be really careful because they're not cheap to replace. These are about $16 a piece, but they're top grade, pre-stretched and stapled, uh, about as good as you can get of a pre-stretched type of canvas. And so we're going to print on them. And one of the things I wanted to try to do is instead of sometimes I'll tape off the sides to try to avoid overspray. So we're actually going to do a little experiment while we're printing these. And uh, we uh, have cut some wood. And this, in the long term, would make more sense if you're doing a lot of these to be able to have something like this that you can block things off with and, and uh, avoid some of the overspray. You're still going to get a little bit of a wrap because uh, you have to have compensate for the fact that there may be some slight imperfections in the actual canvas itself. But we're going to try this. Uh, the, uh, the, the boss was in here yesterday and he was making some bird, birdhouses for his daughters to, to paint while they're at home. And uh, I said, hey, cut this wood up for me. So we uh, cut up these pieces and uh, we've laid them around, as you see, trying to block the edges, to block some of the overspray. So what I've done is I've actually, these are 16 by 20. I've oversized the artwork by about a quarter of an inch. So we should have about an eighth of an inch bleed all the way around. And um, see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and send this over and get it printing. Go ahead and load this up. All right, real quick here, we're going to show you how we set up the artwork to print these two different photographs onto these canvases, make sure we align them properly. So what we've done is we've come in here and we've created corner, corner hashes uh, for the size of the actual items. You'll see is if I select them here, they're at 16 by 20, and I've created them in black, as black uh, thick lines, about two hundredths of an inch thick, and they're 16 by 20 duplicated them, move them over about the, the distance that we would need them apart for when we're printing on the bed. And then what I've done is actually created a second layer here, and I have imported the photographs that we're going to print. I've uh, sized them slightly larger. Let's see if I grab one of these, they're 16 and a, they're 20 and a quarter by 16.2. So they're slightly over between a, an eighth and a tenth, a tenth and an eighth of an inch bleed over in each direction. All right, I put them on a se separate layer and I have actually turned that off and so you can't see it and turned it off so you can't print it. But what we're gonna do first is take this layer, the, the, these two layers, they're selected here, which is layer one, which is the, the hash marks. And we're gonna send those over to our RIP software, which is what we've done already. I'll show you here, I send it to the compressed RIP and I'm gonna send this not to the standard queue because in this case I have black mats on my bed. I'm going to send it to the white only queue and I'm going to set it up relative to the edge of the sign blank. That way they orient to the same spot versus the on my page. And when I print the, f the photos themselves, I'm going to do the same thing. So once I send this, send it over, it will appear right over here in my rip. And actually, if we do a quick preview of this real quickly, we will take this and rip it. I've already printed these, so I'm not going to reprint them at this moment. We will print the actual photos when they come up. I look at the raw data. You can see here what I've gotten is one more time, just a little further out. We will see them all. There you have it. As you can see, there are my four corners that I've printed out so that I can line this to the bed. I printed those to the bed, and then I would come back into here, into the design software. I'm going to turn off that layer, both to see and to print, and I'm going to turn on this layer, and this time when I go to print, I'm going to print it to the compress rip. But this time I'm going to print these as a single layer, which means color layer only. Single pass. Just click OK here. These are sent over to the rip. We jump here to the rip. We go to the single pass. We'll see it's importing the job up here. We'll see that come over here in a second or so and it'll be aligned to the exact same spot as my hash marks were. Here we 
go. We brought those in. We're going to go ahead and process these, get an idea of how much they cost to print. Fairly large prints. They're 16 by 20 inch, which is what, 320 square inches. So roughly two and a half square feet, just under two and a half square feet each. That's pretty large prints and they're fairly heavy coverage. Not a whole lot of white on any of these showing. Almost through processing right here is going to show us the exact cost of the ink to print these images. You also see here I'm going to print these at fine, which is 1440 by 720 DPI. They are on canvases, which are not a completely smooth uh, surface, so I'm not going to worry about printing these unidirectional, I'll print them bidirectional. So $2.18 for these two images, or roughly $1.09 each to print, plus the cost of the canvas. Um, you can see how for photographers this is a very, very viable business. All right, we're going to get those ready and send them on over. All right, they're done. Um, you can see over my shoulder here, 11 minutes and 47, almost 48 seconds. We'll call it 12 minutes. So six, six minutes per print. Um, we might could, if we were creative, I think we could probably get four of these on the bed at a time. There's 16, uh, not quite, 32, wouldn't quite make it. So we get, we're certainly going to be able to get two of these on the bed at a time, six minutes a piece to print. There was a $2.18 ink cost for both of them, so we'll just average that out at about a dollar, dollar ten a piece. Um, like I said, these were some really high-end pre-stretched canvases. They were sixteen dollars each. It's at Michaels, though, y'all. Go online, twenty percent off all day long. And so, uh, if you you were to use a coupon, <laughs> get these down around thirteen dollars a piece plus a dollar and change for the ink. So, just let's round it off. Say we got fifteen dollars into each canvas using a high-grade canvas six minutes of time into each one and uh i think hannah said that she looked these up online and like really good deal is 50 bucks plus shipping um i think that most people would probably pay 75 but if we call it 50 and we said we had about 15 dollars in the cost that's 35 dollars per canvas profit and you could turn this around comfortably four times an hour so say you could do eight an hour at 35, that's 200, what, 240, $270 an hour profit printing these. And not only that, the, the lady who works with us, whose, whose dogs these happen to be, I'm sure she didn't uh, get the photographer for nothing. because These are actual professional photographs taken by a professional photographer. So let's just see, I wanna check this out because this is my experiment. Look at that, look at that nice straight line it kept. Instead of the uh, amount of bleed that we all often get down the sides, I'm real happy with the way that worked. So, I mean, if I was doing this on a regular basis, I would probably get a little more high tech than these. But I think if you know how high, you see here I had to shim up some in a couple places. Uh, I, I'm, I'm curious to see, uh, you know, how close you can get to the edge of this. This is, a, this is the way we're going to start doing stuff, I think, because taping them is really tough. And this looks so much more professional. You don't have a whole lot of bleed down. I think that... She's going to be really happy with these. Let me uh, get them off here. We'll uh, get a quick shot of them sitting up. Got to have it to send to her anyway. Here we have it. Ollie and Riley. All right. Uh, professional photography. Put it on a nice piece of canvas with about a dollar and ten cents worth of ink on each canvas. Six minutes print time per. And look at, look at what you can produce. This is a great money maker. You could hook up with photographers in your area. Or if you are a photography business, it's a great add, add on. There's so many other things that you can actually print on as well with this, but the uh, pre stretched canvases is definitely awesome way to go. And you can turn stuff around quickly. 
You don't have to send it out like a lot of photographers do. There you have it. That's Don Copeland with the Compress IUV 1200S printing on uh, art canvases with high quality photos.